Hey there, welcome to Shattuck St. Mary's School. My name is Mike Carpentier, I'm the Associate Director of Missions. Why don't you come on inside, we'll see what we have going on in this, our lovely community. Uh, we're, we're a small private boarding school, grades six through 12, located in Faribault, Minnesota. Um, we have about 449 students, uh, seven to one student to teacher ratio, uh, represent 36 states and 27 countries. Right now we're on the, the red carpet where our administrative and admissions offices are. Um, we kind of call this area the crossroads of the school. And from here we can access pretty much everything else that we need in our upper school campus um, with our academic um, and kind of social and collaborative spaces. So why don't you come on and follow me. Welcome to the beautiful and historic Hearst Library. Um, this is a gathering place for our students. Uh, we hold our daytime study halls in this space. Um, and it also is a collaborative space for our students to learn research skills. Welcome to our We Create Center. Um, we kind of use this as a maker space for our students. Um, I once uh, heard the director of our program and our We Create Center, Ms. Stephanie Vogley, describe her job as to say yes to student ideas. And that's exactly what we want here. We want our students coming up with their own unique ideas and not necessarily ideas that fall into the mold of traditional curriculum. Um, we want our kids to be able to dive into a lot of different things that don't just help them with the day-to-days of their academic life now, but also can help them build skills that transcend the, the academic realm into um, what comes after their academic careers are over with a number of different studios from a we solve studio to a fashion design and textile studio to a music and video editing studio with graphic design and architecture software really we have an opportunity for our kids to take a dive into it all and this is the upper level of our we create center um, which has graphic design and architecture software, music editing studio, video um, design studio, um, and this is a repurposed space. Um, originally, this housed the gymnasium for our school in our military background days, um, and it was a place not necessarily for, for playing hoops, but for kids to do gymnastics in, and that's where the gymnasium came. Today, we really like to use it, again, as a maker space, but also as a collaborative space. We want our kids learning how to work with one another on various topics, and, and, and uh, again, on projects of their choosing. Welcome to our engineering studio. Um, it's housed in Fayfield Hall, which is our um, science department. Um, it's one of the newest academic buildings in our school. Um, and again, for, for kids in our engineering center of excellence, um, they have the opportunity for two class periods daily to kind of dive into um, the engineering uh, areas of their own personal expertise or areas that they want to learn more about. Um, and it gives our kids hands-on experience to kind of tinker in the ways that they want. And this is our bioscience program uh, space. Um, again, housed on the main floor of Fayfield Hall. That's another of our academic centers of excellence for kids to kind of take a deeper dive into science and, and study medicine in the ways that they want. Welcome to the Hub. This is um, our student center in one of our newest buildings on campus and it literally is kind of the hub of our student community life. We love it as a collaborative space. This space opened up in January of 2019 and believe it or not, this was an exterior parking lot for many, many years. Um, I think our architects did a great job of making sure that we keep what was old and great um, and kind of blend it with, with what is new. Um, there's three levels of our Hub. This is uh, the, the, the main level, again, a great collaborative space for our community. The lower level does house our student lounge with um, gaming areas, a, a student snack bar in our, in our school store, where the upstairs is kind of some more gathering and individual workspace for our kids um, to make sure that they're getting the, the work done at the pace and in the places that they want. Welcome to historic Newhall Auditorium, the auditorium of our school's campus. Obviously, it's a place uh, that's also a gathering spot for our community with all school assemblies and senior speeches and gatherings taking place in here. Um, and with the stage for our performing arts programs where we have our drama, musicians, and vocalists performing what they are so great at. And welcome to Morgan Refectory, our school's dining hall, where for well over 160 years, our students have enjoyed the breaking of bread and fellowship with one another. We feel it's a wonderful gathering spot for the building of our community. 
um, is a brand new serve reef for our student body is open in January of 2019. We have options for every type of eater from a, a, a wood fire grill with homemade pizza to a pasta bar and um, a, a global foods station where then we also have our homemade soups and um, baked goods where our bakery makes homemade goods every single day to farm to table salad greens and fresh fruit. Truly our, our kids have the opportunity to, to eat however it is that they like. And this is our wonderful community walk, which celebrates those members of our faculty and staff who dedicated their careers to our wonderful community. Um, our community walk runs astride of our parade field, which has been a central gathering um, spot for our student body since the founding of our community. Surrounding our parade field are different residential facilities. We have Kim Hall, Clap House, Breck Hall, the Andreas House, Whipple Hall, and the rectory. And welcome to the Chapel of the Good Shepherd. We do have chapel services for our upper school student body on Tuesday mornings. And we look at the chapel as a safe place that can celebrate all of our students regardless of their faith background. Now I'm gonna send it over to Ellie Williams in the sports complex. All right, thanks Mike. My name is Ellie Williams, member of our admissions team, class of 2011. I'm gonna take you through the sports complex. Follow me. Let's walk into John R. Sumner Arena. So this is one of the two of our full-size ice sheets. We walked past our three-on-three -three sheet when we walked in. This is our sports medicine facility. This encompasses both of our strength and conditioning and our athletic training programs. We have four full-time athletic trainers. We have state-of-the-art training and rehab facilities from an ice bath to an underwater treadmill. This is our weight room. This is where our athletic COEs train on an individual and on a team basis. This is also access for our student body and our community to be able to lay a foundation to live a healthy lifestyle. Let's go take a look at the gym. So here we're overlooking our new gym. We have interscholastic sports here from basketball to volleyball. This is a place where our kids get better. So now I'm just outside the soccer offices and we overlook our turf field right here. This is a great training space for our soccer COE. So this is our dome. What a great area for all of our student athletes to train in all seasons. This is JP Parisi Arena. You can see it's very large. It seats about 1500 people. Both our ice hockey center of excellence and our figure skating center of excellence uses this rink. This area is filled with school spirit on competition nights. So we just came across the street. This is Legacy Golf Course, a beautiful 18 hole course. This also houses our golf center of excellence training center. Inside we have all state of the art facilities for our golfers to train year round. Thanks for joining me on the sports complex tour. As you can see, our students here at Shattuck St. Mary's, athlete or not, can pursue their various passions. Here we are outside of St. Mary's Hall. This is the home of our 6th through 9th grade middle school, and it's also one of our dormitories. Thanks for joining me on this part of the tour. Sending it back to Mike. Well, thank you for visiting Shattuck St. Mary's School. We hope that you are able to get a, a quick glimpse of what life might be like for a student at our school. Thank you for taking the time to, to come and visit us. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to members of our admissions team. Take care.